Welcome back, everyone, to On.net. I'm your host, James Montemagno, and we're continuing our series all about Wilderness Labs and their Meadow IoT platform and Meadow Cloud. With me is Jorge from Wilderness Labs. How's it going, Jorge? Good. How are you? Ah, so good. We've been talking about all sorts of cool stuff with all these devices, and I'm excited because now there's multiple devices up here. And now what I'm hearing is that so far we've kind of sent stuff up. We've yeah. also read stuff. Yeah. But now you're saying we can remotely control these devices. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like imagine if you have a, a silo or a plant or something, you know, you are sensoring data, and then you're, if you're seeing your alarms going off, like, oh my God, these temperatures, you want to send a, a way to like a contingency plan to turn everything if things are going haywire, right? So yeah. it's important that we have that feature that we can also send commands to do something and control our environments or control our devices. That's really cool. So what do we have here right now? Yes, so here what we have is we have another project lab and is connected to a four relay uh, channel that is uh, made by Seed Studios. And we're connected here via I2C with a quick connector. So just oh, cool. a little wire, just a little connector, just connected here, and that's it. No more breadboarding, no more uh, extra wiring happening here. And what I have here is I have a mi another micro layout screen that I made, which is displaying us the time. It has a Wi Fi indicator. And it also has like these four virtual uh, relays that will give you the states of when they turn on and off. So let me give you that uh, real quick how that looks. So yeah. um, let me open up um, my Meadow Cloud, which again, it's all free. You can, uh, you can create your account, sign up, and start provisioning your devices and do all sorts of fun stuff. Cool. In this case, we're going to send a command. So if I go here and I do send command, um, and then here we'll open this window that it'll tell you what type of command you're going to send along with a little payload of information or, or parameters that you want to send arguments. So in this case, I got a relay and also um, at the index of a relay and uh, is on property to turn it on and off. So if okay. I do relay four and I do true, I made this one particularly to turn on them all on. OK, so, so four is kind of like turn on all of them since there's four here. So zero, one, two, three, and then four, magical, turn exactly. them all on. Exactly, yes. All right, cool. Yeah, so if I click the send, um, you can see easily that all the all the all these relays have turned on, and you can also see on the screen um, that the little virtual relays are also changed the status to green. Green, very yeah. cool. So now, what you also may not have heard pick up on the microphones, you actually physically hear them as well. Yeah. And I was talking to Jorge, I was like, that sounds to me kind of like a smart thermostat that you hear that relay, right? A no, yeah, and now yeah, they're back off because you sent a false. Yeah, exactly. Very cool. Yeah, and I can also like I can pick whatever. Like I can pick uh, uh, just the first one, so zero, and I set it to true, and I do that, and I do send, and then that one, the first one, just turns on. Whoa, so cool! Check that pretty, out. Bam. Pretty cool. Awesome. Yeah. Now, what does this look like in code? Because yes. you're kind of like showing from the portal, but obviously, I'm assuming that there's code running on the device, right? Of course. Yeah. Yes. So. Uh, again, after you have provisioned your device to Meadow Cloud to link your device with your account, the next step will be to just go into your Meadow application. And we have this thing called uh, the command service. So mm -hmm. we're subscribing to a command. Oh, cool. And that way, we're, we're listening to whenever we receive a command, we process it. In this case, I'm subscribed to a toggle relay command. So if we take a look at that real quick, it's just a simple, uh, just a simple class that inherits from the the interface of iMeadow command. Oh, cool. And there you can enter all the different parameters of things that you want to, um, the parameters that you want to modify. In this case, I have an int relay, which is the index for those for those four relays that I have there. And a property is on to turn them on and off. And those are the same exact ones that we saw you send down via yeah. that JSON payload. Exactly. Right? Yeah, very yes. cool. Yeah. So they have to match um, those. Uh, otherwise, it won't pick them up. Makes sense. And so if the main controller I have, my subscribe, and I also do a little validation, make mm -hmm. sure I don't send anything weird. Uh, but if it's valid, then I also show a command on the project lab that it says um, command received to give me some user feedback if I'm not necessarily connected here and listening to the output. Yeah. And so, and then here I do just a simple switch, you know, relay. If they're if they're from zero to three, then I turn on the corresponding relay. And it's a, if it's a, the, the number four, then I do command is on, and I set them all on and set them all off because we have a driver. This is a Grove driver, a four relay channel, one mm. that you just specify you just specify the I2C bus that you're connected to, and then you're free to go. You can start using this object really, really easily. You don't need to do any 
readings for registers or things like that. Everything is just uh, encapsulated into a meta foundation driver, which makes this super easy to use. Very cool. Now, here you're kind of just sending on off commands, but what are some other scenarios that you would want to do this like command? Like, what other types of things have you seen out in the field? Yeah, so um, this is also like a stripped version for that cultivar project that we showed on the Meadow Cloud uh, launch event. Mm. So, um, Basically, for this, for the cultivar, we're using uh, it's a greenhouse project, right? And so we have relays that one is connected for the lighting to turn the lights on and off to control it. There's one for the heater as well to control the in the inside temperature, make sure they don't freeze our plants. There, we also have another relay for uh, the irrigation system, so we're watering them as well. And oh, so, wow. so we can control different things. Um, that's one of the use cases as well. Nice. And also, the cultivar is smart enough that it'll monitor the conditions within the, the greenhouse. Mm. And depending certain thresholds, if it's getting too cold or too hot, it'll start turning on the ventilation or the heater to try oh, to cool. keep those. You know, So it'll be just be an automated greenhouse yeah. thing. So I think it's a pretty cool project, which is also uh, open source and, on, and, and also on GitHub. So you can check that out as well. Very cool. Now, you've yeah. shown this here on this relay, but I'm assuming any other sensor or any other piece of IoT hardware that you set up here, it can control, right? It's up to you. Sort of, you send the, the payload, and you decide what you want to do. Exactly, yes. yeah. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. Awesome. And uh, this, uh, again, this is uh, the screen that we have here is also built with a micro layout. Super easy to make. You have, like, I have a four, uh, my, my, my usual status uh, top bar that I have my Wi-Fi indicator. I have a little sync one that it will turn on when I'm receiving commands nice. to give feedback there. And I can also change the status uh, here that it says command received. And I also have a history of like when was the last command that it got received as well. Because oh, you want to cool. make sure that um, if you're not looking, that you can keep a keep an eye on to see when was the last activity there. And I have these four uh, these four virtual relays that are built with just bitmap images. You just cool. and you just swap them back and forth whenever it's on and off to try to give you like a little. It's like a little dashboard, you yeah. know, that can show them off. So yeah, that's awesome. Well, yeah. Jorge, this is fantastic. I love it because you know when you think about IoT, I think you often think about oh, I got a bunch of sensors, a bunch of things, but now we're actually got that two way back and forth on yeah. it. This is very cool. I'll put links to everything that Jorge showed here, and of course, a link to all of the different videos on everything Wilderness Labs and everything Meadow. So definitely check out that playlist. And if you like this video at all, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button over on YouTube so you get notified every time we put out a new video right here. Jorge, thank. Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah. This is awesome. I can't wait to go play it with my uh, awesome Meadow stuff at home. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. I'm James Montemagno. This has been On.net, and thanks for watching. <laughs>